Warning, must be 21 or older to view this legal cannabis grow. This YouTube channel is demonetized and uses YouTube copyright free music. What's up YouTube? Northwest Jay here, and welcome back to another update. Here we are in the Gorilla Grow 5x5x7, and this tent is powered by the Spider Farmer 7000. And today we have a harvest video for you. In this tent I have two clones of Rubix from Prism Labs, and Rubix is ISO 8 crossed with Northern Lights. Both of these cuts are identical. I transplanted them from solo cups to 7 gallon pots and here we are day 70 and we are ready to harvest Rubix and as you can tell these two plants have been completely flushed out and I got some really nice sized colas the buds look beautiful and the aroma in this tent is amazing and this is the Hawaiian punch pheno of Rubix and this uh, pheno is not really hard to find. Um, packs have been going out on my end and I'm getting a lot of uh, feedback saying that they're finding it. And I'm really happy for them. Rubix generally likes to be harvested around day 63. I took it to day 70 because I wanted a little bit more of a couch lock high compared to what I had last run. And these buds came out phenomenal. And the smell coming from this room is amazing just straight sweet fruit and like combinations or different varieties of it like I told you this is my Hawaiian punch pheno and it's just on point this particular pheno of Rubik's produces really strong uh, flowers nice dense tight nugs and the flower itself is very potent uh, I like to smoke this stuff at night it puts me out and speaking of night, we're going to go ahead and shut the Spider Farmer 7000 off completely. And I'm going to be removing that light from this tent. When it came to flushing these plants, I didn't do your traditional two-week flush where you do three times the pot size. I just did a three-week flush and I just gave these guys uh, pH water with a slight runoff, maybe 20%. And I did that for three weeks. I've had some people ask me how I get these colors. Do I give them cold water or ice water or anything like that? No, I actually dip my temperatures the last three weeks of flower. So if your daytime temperatures are 78 degrees, your nighttime temperatures should be sitting around 58 to 60 degrees. And along with a proper flush, you should be able to achieve these colors. I will be removing the Spider Farmer 7000 from this tent because I will be chopping these plants whole no deleafing, and I'm just going to hang them up upside down. That's how I do it. And uh, they tend to dry out a little slower. Anytime I can get my plants to dry out for 10 to 14 days, I'm happy with that. But in all honesty, your drying days depend heavily on your environment that you're drying your plants in and the size of your plants and the density of your flowers. So if you have small, airy plants, they'll take quicker to dry. And if you have big, dense flowers, it will take longer. Once Rubix uh, received its final watering of that three week flush, um, I did shut the lights off once these plants dried out about 70-80%. They were nearly dried out um, and I shut them off for 72 hours. It's just something I've been doing since uh, the mid 90s as a grower. Um, call it superstitious or maybe it does do a little bit something extra to it but the plants look gorgeous every time I harvest. Um, lots of frost. These are the lowers. This is the lowest you can get on this plant. And like I said in my last video, this stuff all adds up in weight and whatever you don't like as a curable uh, flower, um, you can always process into bubble hash. I personally use dry ice hash in the bubble bags. I feel it's less work and I get a lot more yield out of it. And uh, we're going to go ahead and prepare for that. So let's go ahead and uh, remove this light from the tent. We're going to shut off this fan. I don't use an oscillating fan while drying. It's just too much. Um, but I will continue to use the intake and um, the exhaust. So I'm going to go ahead and finish preparing this tent to hang up these two plants to dry. 
Join me next week for Viper Spectra's veg video. And that video took me three weeks to make, so I can't wait for you guys to see it. All right, everyone, grow that fine herb. Northwest J, grow, grow, grow. Peace.